takes off by himself in the mystery world. He doesn't have to deal with anybody. He doesn't have to be nice or bad or anything. And he's down there with a fish. He's a hunter. He just, he's part of it without having to deal with humanity. When I was 10, a lot of stuff happened. Losing my dad and my brother and moving all in the same year. And it was just my mom and, and me. Tiny little town on the tip of Cape Cod. It, uh, I got picked on and didn't fit in. But as soon as I moved here, I, I picked up the fishing and that was it. My poor mom. He just doesn't play it safe. If something happens, there's no one to help him. He's gonna keep doing it. He'll keep doing it till he dies. There's no other way for him to live. It's, it's way more than money for me. It's, it's, uh, it's my peaceful place. It's my hunter-gatherer primal place. What's your emergency? We have an injury on a fishing boat. What's the injury? Got a up leg. Okay, so like they're up. Just yeah, keep him in. Keep him out of shock. Yeah. yeah. Did he fall? No. It's, okay. Uh, it was underwater. Yeah. It's a long story. Do you know? Did you see him hurt his leg or did the diver? He was. He was. Uh, Do you know how he hurt his leg? No. He was. He was. He was, he was attacked by. with breaking news and what could be the story of the year. It's a biblical story. This is unbelievable. It's one of the greatest stories I have ever heard in my life. I'm crying. I remember thinking, could this possibly be true? All the way from Provincetown, Massachusetts, please welcome Captain Michael Packard. Michael Packard came home from the hospital for one incredible story to tell. He was lobster diving off the coast of Provincetown when the world around him suddenly blacked out. His crewmate couldn't believe what he was watching. He actually was in there trying to figure out what the f to do. The sea has saved his life, but is also the most dangerous thing in his life. I'll tell you, <laughs> I will never forget that sight as long as I live. I said, what you think about Michael? He said, Mom, I thought it was over. All of a sudden, he let me go. And I started crying because I was so thankful that I escaped death yet again.